questions. Exercise 2i mixed questions number 3. There's a diagram showing these three sets and two functions. It gives you the definition of the functions, that's the formula for what they do to get their answers. And it says this, there's a function h, which you can see there, and it puts it down this way, such that f of p gives you q, and if q then, the function g, sorry, then takes q onto r, then h is a function that we just have taken you straight there. In other words, h is just going to be the composition of them. h is going to be arrived at by starting with x, whatever number that is, letting f act on it, and then letting g act on that. So it's that composition there. Right, what does it say for part a? If q equals 7, what's the value of p and what's the value of r? So if that q equals 7, well, how would you arrive at that q? You would start with p and let f act on it. In other words, f acting on p should give you the answer 7. What does f do? It doubles the thing it acts on, so it doubles the p and adds 5 and gives 7 as an answer. So 2p should equal 2, so that means that p should be 1. You should start with 1 for that to happen. Second part said, what's the value of r? Well, how do you arrive at r? Well, g would act at 7, on 7, to produce r. So g acting on 7 gives you r. I'll just write that the other way around. What does g do? To anything gets hold of, it squares it and it takes away 3. So if it gets hold of that 7, it's going to square it and take away 3. So that's 49, take away 3, so r is going to be 46. Part B. Find a formula for h of x in terms of x. It says x instead of p's and q's. So that means, what does h do? Well, h is that composition. It does the same thing as letting f operate and then g operate. So h is going to be the composition. You let f operate first and then let g take over afterwards, acting on the answer it's produced. Well, what does f do to anything it gets hold of? 2x plus 5. And what does g do to anything it gets hold of? It squares it and takes away 3. So if it gets hold of that, it'll square it and take away 3. So what's that? Square in the bracket. 4x squared plus twice the product, 10, 20x. Square the last, 25, and take away the 3, which means h of x is going to be 4x squared plus 20x plus 22. There, question 3.